You're watching CSD Solutions, and this video is going to be about my teardown of my tile for my wallet. So a while back, I started getting alerts that my wallet tile was getting a low battery and needed to be replaced. Unfortunately, these don't have replaceable batteries. They're just a sealed unit sandwiched together. I'll get into that in a minute. I didn't really feel like paying the 50 bucks or whatever it is to get another tile. So I figured I'd tear mine apart and see what kind of battery I had in it. When it, you tear it apart, it's basically glued together. And I took a knife and just carefully cut and pried. Once I pried a little bit, I, I could see there were some clips. I'll try and get a view of that. Yeah, that's a pretty good view. You see those clips? Right there and there. They're kind of more like guide clips. They don't really, they don't really have too much of an edge on them. So this is mostly held together by glue. That's the main thing to hold together. I think those little things are, like I said, they're just, I think they're guides. I don't really think they're much more than that. So when you're taking this apart, you're going to Cut around the edges here carefully and pry it open. You don't want to break the plastic. And the uh, pouch battery is in a metal case. It's in a metal protective case like this. And that's all glued and smushed together. But so yeah, it, it kind of looks like that when you take it apart. This little thing, when, it, when I first took it apart, I, I wasn't really sure what the battery was. And I was like, whoa, is this the battery? So I put the multimeter on that. No, it's not the battery. That's the thing that makes noise. This um, this little contacts right here somehow uh, reverberates off that and it makes the little chime. So pretty cool. That's basically the speaker. So anyway, back to the battery. So the battery and all this board is smashed inside of this thing like here. So you peel it all apart carefully. Hopefully you don't rip it because it's, it's just basically a ribbon board. There's not a solid board in here. I mean, this is, it's, it's all pretty flexible. There's a lot of little stuff on there. I didn't peel all the stuff off because I actually want to put it back together and it make it still usable, but there's a, a closer look That board, and here's this side. This is the push button that corresponds with the tile for, I guess, programming purposes. You might use that. Anyway, all right, so we've turned this thing apart. We stab through the protective goo that's on here. And here's some of this uh, goo that's on here. It's like a flexible glue of some kind. I peeled a bunch of that off. That's over the whole the whole assembly here to make it all more or less close to being waterproof. I don't know if it is or not, but it's water resistant at, at least. And so peel that away so I could get to these two probes to test the voltage. Yeah, sure enough, the battery's dead. It had like 0.4 volts left in it, so it was toast. Got this separated. And I went on Amazon to see if there was like this pouch battery that was there to see if it was available. And you can technically buy this battery, um, the same one, but not on Amazon or anything like that. You'd have to go off of uh, something specific to this. This is kind of a specialty battery. Uh, there's not a lot of stuff that I could find using something this size. But maybe you could find something that's a pouch battery that, that fits this better. I didn't bother looking that intently because I was looking for something super cheap and relatively quick. I didn't want to wait a month to get this thing. And so I found this little button battery, three volts, by the way. Yeah, that's what this is. So let's, let's take a look at that. So maybe you want to preemptively order a battery. There's the specs on it. Um, but I didn't, mine was already dead. And so I just got this thing off Amazon that already had these tabs stuck on it. 
that we're going to be lined, about lined up with there. So I pulled this battery off with the soldering iron. Soldered this on. It was really actually super easy. Use some of this uh, rosin core stuff. 60-40. Went on awesome. And uh, sure enough, it works. So I thought that was pretty awesome that I could get this thing to to operate. Now, the when I originally had this connected, obviously I, I checked my voltage on the tabs after soldering. Still had three volts. And I actually opened up the app. Right away, within a minute or so, started showing up in my app that it was alive and said it was nearby. So, awesome. thought that was cool. And then I just stuck this back inside of here and kind of held it like that and hit the play button to, to find it. And sure enough, it still makes sound. So it's fully operational with this other battery. Here's what it looks like in the app. As you can see, it gives me the option to find it. Still warning me about the battery. I do have to squish the case back together for the alarm to sound. See if I lift it up, it stops working. But anyway, it, it works. I just have to glue that back together. So if you could find these batteries at a reasonable price or something else that is, you know, would do the job, then you just hook up three volts to there and this thing's back in action. Uh, one thing I will note that the app is still going to say that your battery's dead probably forever because I would assume they, I don't know how they do their programming on there, but I'm guessing once they see a low voltage, they say, oh, it's dead, flag it, and, you know, tell them they have a dead battery because it's still telling me I have a dead battery even though I got a fresh one on there. So I guess that's how that works. No big deal. It's just a little warning you can get rid of. I guess it only means that you're going to need to probably be a little bit more mindful of what the battery life is of this. I have no idea if this battery life is any better than this battery life. I didn't really care what the milliamp hours of this thing was because I was just looking to test the idea. So anyway, it works. And I might stick it in my wallet again, or maybe I'll put it in something else that I'm trying to keep track of. I haven't decided yet, but I figured I'd share this little video because I thought it was kind of cool and somebody else might find it useful, maybe, someday. That's what this channel's all about. Things that are maybe useful or interesting or at least halfway entertaining, maybe. So this is CSD Solutions. Appreciate you watching. Have a good night.